Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today is 8 May 4, 2016. I'm going to talk about the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Yes, for the third time in a row, my three videos in a row, I think three is a charm. So let's uh, take a look at that. Um, if you recall, I've been uh, focusing on this area right here, the 38.2% retracement and the 67 level. Why that area? Well, because we have this high price right here at the 67 level. Because we have this trend line cutting across through here, that cut across around the 67 level. And we have the 38.2% retracement of this move from this high to this low coming in at the 34 level. So this was going to be a tough nut to crack and indeed, on trading on Monday, we moved above that, closed above the 67 level. That's more bullish. We stayed above the uh, trend line, which was at the 50 level at that time, and above the 34 level as well. So everything's more bullish above that line. And on trading yesterday, what did the market do? We moved all the way up to a high price of 1. 47, 68, 69, and then reverse to the downside. And as you can see, we're trading way down here at the low. We'll get, get to that where we are right now in just a second. But I like to use these videos as a little education as well. And so um, there was one thing that I failed to mention in my prior video, and that was uh, that um, we had uh, we had a target up here near the 200-day moving average and the 50% of the same move down from this high to this low. That would be a primo target if the market was able to get up to that level. Why? Because those are really key technical levels for me and should be for you as well. And I would, have, I would have expected that if we got up there, that there would be sellers there at that level. That would have been an awesome level to sell at. But it didn't get there. We only got halfway there. And if you look at the distance between here and here, um, it's about 220 pips. There's got to be a better target than, or, or an interim target before we get up to that top side um, resistance area against a 200-day moving average, against a 50% retracement. And so what I failed to do in my analysis the other day was to take a look at um, where an interim target might be. And that would have come from the hourly chart. At the time, I didn't have this topside trend line in, so I'll take it take it away. What I did have in was this, um, this uh, wedge formation with uh, one, two, three. I outlined uh, in my last video that the market was having trouble on every time it moved above the topside trend line. So it was looking more uh, like it like it wanted to go lower but we we also had that support at the 50 level that was a trend line on the daily chart and I said that we needed to get below that 50 level if we're going to go lower but if the market were to break higher that would be more bullish and indeed right here the market broke higher uh, in yesterday's trade and moved all the way up to the uh, 68 level right here and stalled now why did it stall at that level and it goes back to this trend line right here. And one of the things that I want you to understand and know and do going forward is take um, a trend line um, and try to put, try to fit in a parallel or channel trend line. And oftentimes, especially when you're looking for um, targets, okay, if on the daily chart our next target is 220 pips, drill down to your hourly chart or a lower level chart and try to see if there's another target that we can find in between those levels. And if I would have just taken this bottom side trend line and put a parallel trend line and connected, um, you know, it, it showed a nice little line right here that even had tests along that line. And lo and behold, in trading yesterday, at that 69 level, what was the market testing? The top side trend line, parallel channel trend line and the market stalled and that's all it needed to turn the beat around to send the market back below from whence we came the break point right here this should have been an exit level if you didn't get out up here you should be getting out right here um, in addition to that we went below this lower this uh the lower channel trend line right here new channel trend line right there we went to the 100 hour moving average tried to find support there that turned into resistance when we broke below that line then we came down to the 200 hour moving average and finally found support through here now in addition to that what do we do in trading trading on this corrective move here here against the 200 we came right up to our prior lows through here found resistance there found resistance right here and broke below the 200 hour moving average now we're trading down here at these lows right here so where do we stand right now well off the 
hourly chart, what um, what can we say? We are uh, below the 200 hour moving average, moved away from it. We had a corrective move higher here that got close to it, stayed below it, and um, uh, moved uh, moved down lower. Now we do have a, a, a bunch of uh, support down through here, uh, which encompasses um, this high right here, these lows right here, this low right here, this low right here, and the lows that we saw in trading here today. So going forward, what do we need? We need a break. We need a break. Uh, below this level. If we get below that level, then we come down to the 144.29. And you see this 100-day moving average? This is going to be our next key. This is like the 200-day moving average on the top side. This is where we need to get uh, where we, we would probably find some really good uh, support if the market should break lower. So we're, so uh, what, 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 where do we stand right now? Kind of at support right here. Um, sellers up here came against the 100-hour moving average. That's a, that's a risk level on the top side. Um, if we uh, if we were to break below this level, we, we don't have far to go from 144.71 to 144.29. That's going to be our next target. That's a 50% retracement level. We need to get to and through there. And then I'd expect some pretty good support at the 143.87 level on the downside 100-day moving average. You can see that on the daily chart as well. I'll uh, go to the daily chart, and um, this is our 100-day moving average. That would be our next key target, um, major target on the downside. Um, get to that. I would expect to see some support buyers against that. The last time the market tested that 100-hour move day moving average is right here. Um, and prior to that, we hadn't been be uh, below the 100-day moving average or above the 100-day moving average until this point right here. So the market broke above that 100-day moving average. Oftentimes on the first test back of it through here, there is going to be support or should see some support against that level. So be aware of that. So um, I know three is a charm. Maybe uh, this will be the last one that I do on the pound sterling for the rest of the year. Who knows? Probably not. But um, uh, if you like this video, be sure you click on the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, click on the thumbs down. It, um, also, if you liked it and want to share it, Click the share button on your um, social media pages and share it with the rest of the world. Finally, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. And finally, again, if you want to be on our email list, uh, there will be a, uh, a uh, box at the bottom of this post that will uh, you can click on and you can add your email and be part of our email mailing list. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your pound sterling trading. Bye-bye now.